So this question says, from a population of 50,000 people, 1,000 were chosen at random and surveyed about a proposed piece of legislation. Based on the survey, it is estimated that 35% of people in the population support the legislation with an associated margin of error of 3%. Based on these results, which of the following is a plausible value for the total number of people in the population who support the proposed legis legislation? So we know that the population size is 50,000. We also know that 30, we expect at least 35% of those 50,000 to support the legislation. So what is 35% of 50,000? Well, that would be 0 0.35 times 50,000. And you have a calculator um, that you can use for the digital SAT. You can also bring your own calculator. So it shouldn't be a problem to do this. And that value is 17,500. So we would expect 17,500 people to support this legislation. Now, to look at my answer choices, I don't see 17,500 listed here. And that's where this 3% margin of error comes in. And because of that error, I'm going to say, without doing any calculation, that choice C must be the correct answer, just because A is too, way too far off, B is way too small as well, D is almost double our expected value here, so that's not within a 3% margin of error. If we really wanted to find the margin of error, you would just find 3% of 50,000, basically, which is 1,500, and then you could say that the our answer should be somewhere between 17,500 17, plus 1,500, which is 19,000. So as low as 17,500 minus 1,500, which is 16,000. So there's our range of possibilities, somewhere between 16,000 and 19,000, including the idea of what margin of error means. But again, that was not necessary. When you look at the answer choices, there's nothing even close to 17,500 except for choice C.